Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. It's a nice Friday afternoon. I hope you guys have uh, been enjoying Final Fantasy it's Fridays. Final Fantasy Friday. Um, so we are not doing like any major story stuff today. Mm -hmm. I still need to catch up on uh, everything that we covered last week. I haven't finished my article. Uh, there was a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff, but also like we've been working on Patreon, like oh, yeah. trying to get a Patreon set up and then integrate it into the site and then to our, into our new forums. And Some people already joined. And yeah. We didn't. It's <laughs> not ready. We're like, no, no, no. So I actually, when I was testing it, I had a test post up there. And this is going to be like one of the first, oh no, I got a text. <laughs> um, one of the first uh, articles that we're going to have exclusive, what do Japanese gamers think of Shaq Fu? Um, but people saw that and they started signing up for Patreon and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and so I, I hit it. Um, anyway, it's been a lot of a headache setting all this stuff up. So it's been taking a while and so like uh, we're a little bit behind on the article. So I'm thinking next Friday I'll, I'll hopefully have the article up and then that's when we'll continue the story. For today though, we're going to be doing like, uh, there's a, I want to get like Mog's Dance, I want to get the Esper, or the Magisites that we can get, um, other things like that. Maybe just like go around the world and see if there's any text that we missed just before the world blows up. I thought the world did blow up. Not yet. Oh. Just the continent came out. Oh. It's like um, not blowing up. That's like a, a pimple popping. Ew. Well, that's hard to say. All right. So we're going to do that. And then uh, if uh, there's, you know, if that goes by pretty quickly, we'll do my, um, we'll test my NES sidebar, which I have set up for Zelda 1. And uh, basically it's sort of the same deal. As what you've seen before. Um, so today is mostly going to be like casual, laid back, just uh, chatting, answering questions, goofing around. So if you're looking for uh, like heavy story stuff, um, that'll be next time. But for now, it's just kind of like this is a teacher uh, teacher work day. Yeah, teacher conference day <laughs> <laughs> when you get off school early. All right, so we just uh, the flo floating continent just went up and. Uh, scared everybody. I've got a cat on my lap, so I'm a little bit further back from the microphone if I sound quiet. Alright. Um, Ouch. So I'm hoping we'll at least get to like over 60, maybe like 61% would be nice today. We already did talk to that guy, so... Oh, actually there was a couple lines in, the, in here that we never did. Oh, I better go get that. Mado got a text. So, let me think. Was it Sunday night or Monday night? Wander was stung by a scorpion. Um, she's fine, nothing bad happened, but we heard her hissing in the kitchen and Wander never hisses and we're like, what the heck is that? We found her with an Arizona bark scorpion, one of the dangerous ones that you need to really, really look out for. And she was rubbing her nose and we were like, oh no. And we kept an eye on her, nothing like, nothing swelled up. <clears throat> she didn't have any nervous system thing. She was perfectly fine. Just her nose hurt. So she either got stung or maybe just pinched. I think pinched. She Okay, she was probably pinched. She saved us. Yep. And now she's on my lap because her neck itches and I'm scratching it for her. Well, I think it was a different bug. It was a different bug, yeah. I think she got bit by something else. Okay, I think we've seen most of these. Oh, yeah, scorpions climb walls. Oh, yeah. They the hang Arizona... They hang from the ceilings, too. They hit, yeah. Arizona bark scorpions are the ones that climb walls. Not all of what them. What do wolf can. spiders look like? Wolf spiders? I don't know. Because I saw a crazy looking scary spider last night on the wall. <laughs> what kind of measures do we have against scorpions? We like, we have, uh... Hide. <laughs> we have one of the best, like, pest control people and one Although of the best... Although they kind of suck right now. They kind of suck. I mean, we've been getting scorpions, but... If you look up, when I step outside, I look up, and there's a scorpions all above me. Yeah. I'm like, oh no. So, we've been having a lot of solicitors coming by, and we have a no soliciting sign. Uh huh. And so we've I've come up with the idea of when someone rings the doorbell, uh, just a bunch of fake scorpions will fall down from above. <laughs> and I think that will keep people away. But then the Schwanz guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to warn the Schwanz guy. Like, we'll, hey, have, we'll have a security set yeah. up. Yeah. Like, hey, this scorpion here by the doorbell, it's fake. Don't worry about it. Or we'll have um, like a camera and we can tell. Release the scorpions. <laughs> like Mr. Burns, basically, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I can't remember which ones of these we've seen. Uh, 
Have a fake doorbell? Oh, that's perfect. I have been considering just disconnecting the doorbell because usually... There's a spider in our doorbell. The oh. actual bell. Oh, the bell on the inside of the yeah, house? Yeah, there's a big old spider. The one makes the noise? Yeah, there's a spider in there. It did. Yeah, she sprayed it. The, uh... The bug man was like, do you want me to, you know, get that out? I'm like, nah, it's dead. It's not bothering anybody. <laughs> Our house is full of spiders and scorpions. Does, does this count as one? It looks like it went up from 0. 0.27, 24 to 27. Oh, well, I can't tell if it went up or not. I'll have to, okay, 59, 27. Okay, this one. Okay, damage is more severe when caught in a pincer attack. Oh, speaking of pincers, use care when running. What about pincers? Wander? The scorpion. Yeah. She's over there now. Man, I don't think it was the good kind of spider. I only saw its legs. Yeah, the legs are coming out of the speaker Poking out area. of the little thing, and I was like, mm, I don't, it, <laughs> that looks big. I don't want to deal like with that. It's like that picture of, like, you see a clock on the wall, and there's these big old legs coming out from under it. It's basically that. <laughs> the damage is great if you are scissored. It is even more to show the back of the enemy. Oh, there's good kinds of spiders. Yeah, there's like tarantulas. Tarantulas eat scorpions, so they're great. Run from some battles by pressing and holding both the L and R buttons. You can see where they like have to capitalize the B and the buttons like that here. Mm -hmm. And even in the GBA version, they have it. The fan translation doesn't like that stuff, sort of stuff isn't very well known. So yeah. Also, the fans translations don't have to abide by Nintendo's rules. The fan translation can't fail a lot check. Arizona life sounds horrifying. <laughs> Arizona's really weird though. It has like three different uh, zones. Like you got the real snowy, cold zone. Mm -hmm. And you got the mountain zone. And then you got the desert zone. Yeah, we're in the desert. They even have a crater. A big old crater. What level on the Patreon is to get you guys some anti-scorpion tarantulas? <laughs> we have a lot in the front I, yard. Well, well, I can see their little holes. Yeah. Well, I think one died in the aftermath of the other night scorpion attack. Yeah. We do have a dead one, which I was really sad about. Uh-oh. This one didn't say capital B. We have questions. Okay, yes. Um, we have barbecue. No, but I did notice Taishi asked, yes. was it just one person for the fan translation or a team? Um, so from what I've heard, it was mostly Skyrender, and there were people who like helped uh, polish things, or offered to polish things, but he wasn't really like, uh, he kind of was worried that it would get taken too far from his his translation. Mm -hmm. So I think it was mostly him, but like there's also hacking and other, other uh, aspects to it too. Kind of like when I did Mother 3, people ask how big was the team, and it's like, I'm not really sure how to say that, because mm -hmm. just like a bunch of people came in and helped tiny bits. It yeah. wasn't a team, it was just like... It was like a core three or four people? Yeah, it's like in, our, in, like in this game, like or any RPG, you get like people who join your party for a little bit and then leave. And maybe there's like, do you count the ghosts that join you in this party as <laughs> party members or whatever? I do. Oh, okay, here we go. During battle, press left or right on the control pad to select row or defense. Row? So it's change and defend. Row right. means move again. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder why... I guess... I guess row makes more sense than change. Oh, and they kept it row in GBA. Yeah. But the fan has change and defend. Google has change and hobo. <laughs> <laughs> if you do hog, the, in the damage you receive is half of. Bokyo! <laughs> right. I think we saw this one. Oh, I think so. Ref reflect. Yeah. Wasn't there a game about a tarantula and scorpion war? <laughs> Come on. And so one of the Patreon, like, so the Patreon is live if you want to check it out, but I haven't put a link to it anywhere. It's, um, it's not quite ready. You can look at it, though. Um, and the two people have already signed up. <laughs> um, but 
like one of the tiers, one of the lower tiers is like get your name special in the Twitch credits. And mm -hmm. so I was like rushing to program that really quick. And I wasn't sure how to implement that, like if I should have it, people's public Patreon names mm. or if they should be able to request what they're called or something. What I figured is that we would just get their Twitch name. But what if they're not Twitch though? What if they're not on Twitch but still watch the Twitch? Then they should sign up for Twitch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, to, know. <laughs> I don't know how to do it either, but okay. Uh, looks like we already got this one. Oh, hi, welcome in Metronome. And some people who said they were in here for either the first time or for a very long time. Yeah, sorry, not... sorry we're not doing any serious story stuff right now. We're just kind of taking it easy so I can uh, get my brain back. I've been also live translating Yakuza Ishin, Ishin all week. <laughs> all week. I you, started... guys, you guys are missing out. <laughs> I started talking during a really important scene and Mado's like, No, uh, I lost it! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look all that stuff up again, but that game is so, so good. It's the Mother 3 of the Yakuza series. Yeah. You need, it, oh. It's this the one that we'll never get, but the one that we deserve. It makes it feel like the Yakuza series should have been a samurai series from the beginning. Yeah, it feels it like just... the Yakuza ones are the spin-offs. Yeah, so. it works really well as samurais and all okay, of that. let's look at this. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna miss it, this stream when it's over, and LOL doesn't stream for another two years. Don't worry, we're... Well, since it's a Patreon thing now, I'm going to try to make sure. We we have a couple of goals on the Patreon. Oh, yeah, we do. So, um, so and they're all stream-related. Yeah. One of the goals is uh, I'll do Earthbound Zero comparison. Taishi says, I assume Samurai Kiryu also definitely never kills anyone despite appearances to the contrary. <laughs> you got, you have a gun, and you're shooting people in the head, and they just get a little bit of health knocked yeah. off. Um, then there's a style with a gun and a katana, and you can do spins and shoot your gun as you spin around. It's crazy. It's like a dancing one. It's really <laughs> cool. Also, you can do drinking contests with uh, beautiful ladies. And you can accidentally spill the drink all over you, and then you have to leave. And you can do fan dancing, Japanese fan dancing. And it costs one whole Rio to talk right. to a pretty lady. And that... That is a, that is a So this off. one says... Any spell at all will hit you if you're invisible. And this one says you'll revert to normal if a spell hits you. And so, there's that. There's that. Oh, we got a good question. Okay, what? Amethyst Frost says, I don't have a Patreon account. How does it work? Does it let you select how many months you want to donate at once, or do you have to go in and cancel that? Honestly, I don't know. I do. So, um, Patreon just works like, um, we have it set it up per month. Yeah. So, if you subscribe to our Patreon, you will get charged X amount of dollars at the first of every month. Um, and if you want to stop supporting us at any time, you can just cancel your uh, thing. What is it? Your pledge? And that's it. So, you don't like pay ahead of time or anything. It's per month. Yeah, like a subscription service, like um, Netflix or something. Because we do so many like strange things, we can't say X amount of dollars per per creation per creation because we do many of different creations. Okay, so the zombie one says that your col your skin color changes, and uh, you'll be a zombie even when your HP is zero. And so there's no no talk about the skin skin color in the official translations. The fan translation says your body turns gray, but it just says your your color changes. And is it gray? I always thought is it was kind of. Is she looking gray right now? I don't think so. But I always thought it was kind of green, greenish. But maybe that's just my weird ass uh, TVs. Maybe the fan translator is colorblind. That's always a concern I have whenever like, I'm doing game stuff or site stuff. Always thinking about that stuff. Okay. For Muddled and Psych. Oh no. What is Psych? Psych? Is it like a psychic attack? What is that? I don't recognize that. Oh! <laughs> so you got Confusion. I don't know why they call that Muddled. And then like, uh, Sleep. So what? when you're yeah, so why is psych sleep? Can you write that down? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're Narsh. Oops. Let's see. Hang on. 
I'm not set up. Sniper confusion. Paralyzed and mind shocked, it says. I think, um, so it says mind shocked here. That's because this is swimming. But I think they mistook swimming and siming. And siming is, um, hypnotized. When it get ro gets rolled, it returns to the original. I really just want to stream Yakuza's Ishin. So, um, Itinerary Soldier wants to know, why don't we just, why don't we just stream yeah. Yakuza, like, right now? Who cares? It'll take time to set up. There's a message at the beginning of the game says it is illegal to stream <laughs> this game. Yeah. And We're, actually, we gotta you, do it. you can't take screenshots or videos. Yeah, they block it They entirely. block it. They block so everything. we've been getting pictures with our cameras pointing at the screen. <laughs> you can't stop us. It's so us. fun. Anyway. Are the articles going to be patron exclusive forever? Uh, this is fine. I just have weird things about how easily stuff like that is lost forever on the interwebs. Um, I'll make sure that it, there's always a backup somewhere. But, like, say after it's going to be patron exclusive forever, or will we unlock it at some point? That's a good question. I don't really know. What do, what do most people do for stuff like that? I feel like, what would the time limit? What would be a good time limit on that? Like a year? At the very least, if like the Patreon stuff explodes and the world gets, catches on fire, and, and Kefka destroys the world, I'll just <laughs> unlock everything. Okay. <laughs> like if if we have to cancel our Patreon, so don't worry, I'll have stuff. Who knows? Maybe I'll turn it into like a book or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. You know how um, the PlayStation takes a screenshot every time you get a trophy. Every time we get a trophy in Yakuza Ishin, the trophy pops up, and then a message pops up, can't take screenshot right now, because it's blocked. So here it says, um, if you use potion, if you use like cure or potions on the undead, and then here in parentheses it has to say like ghosts and such. <laughs> ghosts but, and such? But it doesn't say that anywhere else, because we already know what undead is. Okay. Can you write that down? Oh. Um, ghosts and such? Although ghosts... Well, I guess it could, be, it could be it could be many things. So it's Yure, though. Yeah. Ghosts and Gen Generally, what we would consider ghosts, but and... oh, if you want to go deep, don't no. Okay. <laughs> we can get Matt Alt in here to okay. help us. <laughs> Life three. I think we saw that one. Okay, most folks do an early access thing. Andrew Rice is several months to a year. Itinerant Soldiers it says it varies. Some do like three months, some wait a year. Okay. Um, I'll think about it. Like, yeah. Yeah, see, I don't know much about Patreon, how, how it works and things like that. So we're learning as we go. But yeah, mm -hmm. I guess we'll have some sort of time limit, but it has to be something kind of long something to substantial. make it worth it. Yeah, so that the the people at that level, you know... Do you really want to know that much about shack food in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, three-way attack indicates a fire, ice, and lightning attack. Oh, wow, okay, this is messed up. Okay. I, this doesn't make any sense to me in English. Three-way attack indicates a fire, ice, and lightning attack. So, I don't know quite what that means. It's saying that the three elements... Like the three types, the three element types, principal elements, three principal elements are uh, like fire, ice, and lightning. Mm -hmm. and so that's what it's saying. It's saying that there's three element types, those three. So this is like, this uses, the English here makes me think this is an attack that uses all of these at once. I don't even understand what it's trying to say. It's spelled lightning, right? Yeah. Yeah, three attributes. Okay. Although I would, I'd be careful to call it that because there's also like dead and holy and isn't there ground also? Like, doesn't Gaia gear? Where, three... where can I get Gaia gear? Okay, now? we got three way is what try talk slash. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of. But why would he be talking specifically about that Esper? But yeah, he's saying that. Uh, there's three elements.
Yeah, I remember the Pokemon Try Attack. It was really great. Okay. So here it says, it Reflect can't block certain magic attacks, but it says, um, can't block uh, blue magic. Hmm. So it's not certain ones, it's blue magic. Or is, they call it lore magic in uh, Super NES version, so that's why there's lore magic here. You got your blue magic here. Blue magic here. So I guess, like, Woolsey didn't really know what to do with this blue magic term. I mean, black and white magic, even if you don't know Final Fantasy, it's pretty clear what those are. But if you said blue magic, you wouldn't really know what that is. Black is offensive, white is defensive? Or generally, like, like evil, healing? evil, or for hurt, okay. hurting damage, hurting purposes. Mm. And white magic sounds, sounds better. Healing? Like, for benefit. I think we saw this one. Oh yeah, we already looked at that. Oops. I apologize. Oops. I apologize again. All these Edgar color swaps. Okay, looks like we got that one already. Alright, we got all that. I don't remember if we got everyone in here. Oh no, not this again. We're just going to spend all of our stream in here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> but mostly I want to get, like, those those rages that people kept saying to do. I want to get Mog's dance before the world blows up. We might not have met someone with Cat Scratch. Yeah, someone mentioned that we did, and that if you see them and run away, you'll still get them. But we'll go and just get it anyway. Yeah, just, like, make super sure. Yeah. We saw that already. So what happens when you chat all the time. Oh, this guy's sitting on a... We'll check this first room. Hey, oh. ghost. Uh, I have heard about relics. <laughs> Want to know how to ride a chocobo? No. Like we've got mostly everything. Compassionate Voice says, what did the room say in Japanese? Oh, which room? This room here. Because okay. when we came in, it was like environmental sciences. Okay. Um, it's like the field room, but in uh, Japanese, field often means like overworld. Oh. In, in, like, in situations like this. So it's like the overworld room. Stray Cat enemy is found around Doma. Okay. This is the combat room. This is the slightly diff slightly difficult combat room, slightly advanced combat room. Alright. There. No more of that music. That's the sad like save music. Well, I guess it's calming. Are they talking about how a continent just flew in the air? Nope. Why is someone following me? Oh, he's not. Uh, if we were to ever do, if we like were to do Yakuza uh -huh. today, um, we're starting a story, like starting. A new oh, chapter. we're in like chapter four or something. Five. Five. Shoot. Well, also, if we stream Yakuza, I don't really want to have to pay attention to the chat. So I wouldn't be looking at the chat. Mm, Maybe like, sometimes, like during the random battles. Yeah, but like I wouldn't be keeping up with it completely like I do normally. Cause Are you okay with that? Is the chat okay with that? I thought you were joking that we were going to stream it. No, I kind of want I want to <laughs> share this game. It's so good. Okay. It is very, very good. You can catch sharks. <laughs> I'm walking around with four sharks in my kimono right now. You can take bath with cats. Uh, yep. We took several baths with a cat. And it kept getting dirty. I think it just liked taking baths with yeah. Samurai Kiryu. You can, um... Let me see. We had a naked fight 
in a bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Where I was like, okay. There was some mist was covering up everything. <laughs> just, just enough. Just enough. Pretty of time, I'd be okay with that. I'd love to see a Yakuza stream. I'm more than an itinerant soldier. I'm more than fine with what you do. It's your time. You should enjoy it. Big Bear's Cave cat baths. <laughs> Naked fight in a bathhouse. Just like real uh, life. Shuriken shaped soap. <laughs> It's such a fun game. I spend a lot of time... There's a whole Animal Crossing thing. You can farm and fish and, and cook. And own your own house. Own your own house, fulfill orders. You can get up to three cats and three dogs. And a bunch of chickens, I think. Uh, yeah, right now we have two chickens, two cats, and yeah, one yeah. dog. Alright. So saying that, like... She's just saying that she really loves being free after all. Freedom is great. Where are we? We're South Figaro. Okay. Because um, after the banquet, you know, it, we got freed, so I want to take a look. Compassionate voice said, owning a house. Okay, this is not like real life anymore. <laughs> it's very fictional. Oh, Big Bear says, I still think Tinga and Makio should have had a naked bathhouse fight. That would have made so much sense. We're hoping there's a sumo game. There, there are sumo, like, Char people. Models, yeah. Character models in here. We haven't seen a sumo minigame yet. It would take me a while to set it up because I think PS4 has um, the HDMI protection and I got a thing for that, but it would take me like 10, 20 minutes to set up. Will we do it today? If you want. We could do it after this. I don't know. I don't mind. <laughs> I just want to shoot people. Uh, we got leftovers for dinner. I don't have to cook tonight. Yeah. We'd have to cut the stream while you set it up, though. You could rap. Majima is an Ishin. Um, oh, he's a cooler. He <laughs> he's cooler than his other short hair version. Yeah, he has his eye patch, and it's a really cool eye patch. And um, he has the bottom part of his head shaved like normal, but he also has like a samurai ponytail. So that's nice. Also, his kimono or his samurai clothes are covered in blood. Yeah. He's just, he likes getting the blood of his enemies on his coat, and he doesn't wash his coat. Okay. Premium Time says, it does. I think you can just turn off the HDCP in one of the settings, though. Okay. So then, like, if you want to watch Netflix or something, we'll have to turn it back on, though, right? Okay. I guess. Netflix sucks now. We wouldn't watch it anyway. It's weird because when we were had like the PS3 or the Vita hooked up, like I don't think there was an option for that. Is there anybody in here? Well, you know, I need to get Mog in my party. I need to get Mog and Gao. Gao. See you later, Macuelos. Macuelos. Thanks for coming by. Kupopo. Mater, do you know anything about the new Crunchyroll show coming out? There's a new Crunchyroll show? Okay, so Compassionate Void, he cannot answer your question because he just now heard of it. They wanted to know what was your opinion on it. I, I haven't heard of it. <laughs> with the Vita, you had to get around it with a splitter. Yeah, that's what I have. I got some weird splitter thing. Or the PSTV. Hey, K-Jazz, this is going to be a... It's a, a it's a stream. Yeah, more of a Pomido CX style stream. <laughs> and we might stream Yakuza Ishin later. But we are doing like translation comparisons if we find something, actually. So Taishi says, I still need to play Yakuza 0, but I don't have a PS4 and my computer is just a laptop. Um, when you eventually get a PS4, because I really think every person who likes video games should have a PS4 if they can afford it, because a ton of good stuff is on it, you can wait. Um, maybe buy the game now, so it won't be harder to find later. It's like 30 bucks now or something. What? Yeah, because it's zero. No, it's 20. 20 bucks? It's 20 bucks, y'all. In physical and digital. Get it. Okay. The Crunchy... Oh, you Go ahead. Go The Crunchyroll ahead. show is a Western-produced show that's going to be like a Netflix original. Hmm. Is it about Crunchyroll? <laughs> Taishi says Yakuza 5 was good, but in several ways I like Yakuza 4 more. We still have not played 2, 3, 4, or 5. Yeah. Um, 6 was a major disappointment. 
Yeah. The more we think about it, especially playing this game, this is the one that everyone should know about. Yeah. We even bought, like, and I don't feel regret buying it, but the Super Mega Collector's Edition of Six, because you can get those whiskey glasses with the dragon tattoo etched in, and, like, two little stone ice things and some coasters, and that's really cool, and I can't wait to use them. We haven't drank anything since we opened it, but, um... I, you know, six the whole game. It's it's not quite great. Yeah, uh, Kiwami 2 comes out pretty soon. Oh, so that one that's in Fist of the North Star, is that dub only, you guys? Let me know. The Yakuza Fist of the North Star. If it's dub only, I'm... We'll get I'm, Japanese. I'm probably not going to buy it. Actually, I looked at the battle like trailer, and it didn't look very interesting. Oh. It was like a bunch of guys just standing around, and you, you just got to go up with them and hit them. It seemed almost like a Warriors Muso style game in that sense. It's just like a whole. Group. Lost Paradise, is that the name of the yeah. game? Yeah. It's dual audio. So, okay, good. Whew. Thank you. That's cool you get to pick, though. You don't get to pick in the Yakuza remakes. Um, I'll teach him how to kill people faster. Not like this is going to matter too much, but... Alright, we got our team. Okay, the best thing about Six was Beat Takeshi. <laughs> yeah. Mado felt that Beat Takeshi just seemed tired the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> like he was like, you know, he's pretty old now, and they probably brought recording equipment to him maybe, and I don't know. He got to sit on futons a lot and mm -hmm. eat things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for he did a pretty good old man though, you know. It's uh, Ryuga Gotoku. Ryuga Gotoku in Japanese, but what is Fist in the North Star called in Japanese? Uh, Hokuto no Ken. Hokuto no Ken. So. Um, um, so we're gonna go to the Doma Zone. The Dome Zone. So we're looking for Stray Cat, just to be safe. Beat Takeshi isn't tired all the time. It felt like, you know, he wasn't I've really... I've seen him on TV. Like, he's on a million shows, and he just always seems tired now. Um, it didn't feel like he was really trying all that hard to be like this... I know his character, he was supposed to be like this laid-back guy, uh -huh. but... Even when his real stuff came out. Oh, there was a twist. <laughs> He's actually Ryu Gagotoku. He's actually Kiryu from the future. I, I spoiled it. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I spoiled it. It's so obvious, though. It's obvious. But, okay. You're not going to make him just an NPC. No. In the mini games in 6, they were pretty disappointing. The quests were very disappointing. I really... Like, we're getting... um. Remasters of three through five, yeah. not total yeah. remakes. It's gonna be rough, isn't it? Um, I'm really looking forward to playing three because that's when Kiryu gets his own little orphanage, right? In down. I think so. That's down where. Yeah. Okinawa. Yeah, compassion voice is the crappy part about Y6 was just how scaled back the combat was. It was nowhere near as engrossing as older Yakuza games, especially not Ishin. Oh yeah. The combat was just like one style. The, yeah, the, the Ishin combat is great. It's like I literally just want to play it just for the combat. It's really fun. There are there are punk like Ronins everywhere in town in the town of Kyo, which is Kyoto. Um, oh, here we go. This kit. Yeah. Okay. Kill kit. Oh. Uh... Three has the orphanage, but I don't think there's any side quest stuff involved with it. Like, no orphanage yeah. simulator or anything. Yeah. Oh, that would be kind of weird. Three was the one that had infamous bad review by actual Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the CIA and stuff. <laughs> oh, the CIA part! I, so my feeling is when Yakuza can uh, be free and do whatever it wants, that's when it's best. So like with... With Zero it takes place in the 80s and it's not bound by any previous stuff so much and it can just kind of do its own thing. It can have fun with 80s, old 80s stuff and, mm -hmm. then, and then it can uh, 
the samurai one is like, who cares about any of that other story? We're gonna do our own thing, and yeah, it's so good. Yeah, there's, I mean, there are characters, and their personalities are kind of, you know, set, but that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't care that I don't recognize everyone. Yeah. It's great. Wasn't Six the last QDU focused one? Yeah. Oh. They say. Yeah. They say. Sapping ooze. That's slip liquid. Chaos wave. And so someone pointed out, or someone, if you look at the Final Fantasy three box art, or the like the label art, you'll see Mog, and then there's like um, a big shadow, okay. and it's of a creature. Yeah. And a lot of people didn't know that that was a shadow. And apparently, someone wrote Square back in the day asking what the shadow was of. And it was that Maduin guy just now. Oh, our friend? Yeah. <laughs> our friend is Menacing Mog. What's up, Danny McGee? I remember writing to Square like once or twice. <laughs> I got replies, but I know uh, someone else who wrote to Square around the same time, and uh, the reply was by Woolsey himself. Oh. This, was, this was back in like the mid 90s, you know, when it was still. And so it makes me wonder if my letters had been from him too. Hmm. It's too bad I don't have them anymore though. Taishi, have you seen the video from Yakuza Zero where there was a really important scene between like the three heads of the Yakuza and Kiryu, but they made all of the people during this important scene dance like <laughs> Mr. Libido? <laughs> and it was just. It was so. Something. Um, the Japanese has Terra on Magitech, yeah, but the um, US, US yeah, the, U the US art, yeah. If I had, if I had a camera, I'd pull it out, but no cameras. So for Patreon, one of our very first goals is a live translation of this hilarious Japanese-only game. I hope, I hope we can hit that. Oh yeah, it was like 250. Yeah. So even before Patreon existed, people were telling me to do something like this, like Patreon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no one will want to pay money to read this stuff. And I still feel that way. I feel like so uncertain. Meow, 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 meow. Such a weird, it's such a weird feeling. I don't like to ask people for things, ask yeah. people for help. So this is like against my nature. I got peer pressured into doing Patreon. <laughs> peer pressure Patreon. P -p -p. All right, I hope I don't like see a stray cat and like accidentally kill it. Where can we, um, so that was PPP. -p -p. How do we slip an A into there? No. P -p -a -p. No one can he see need, He needs to go, <laughs> he needs to go into the past. He needs, yep. to be, he needs to become history. So the game is the one from Camp Fangamer that we played that like 10 people got to see? Mm-hmm. And uh, I actually won 100% it. Oh. <laughs> There's all kinds of cool stuff that I'm sure we missed, so we'll just have a lot of fun that day. If I could, if I could get it like the, uh, so it's like a WiiWare game. So if uh, Wii emulators are able to run it, and if I can like customize the Wii emulator the way I have the Super NES one customized, I could do a live translation sidebar. It's like whenever some text or voice pops up. You could just start typing it in? No, it would, just, it would show up. For, oh. So other, other people could play it in English without me having to Oh, yeah, yeah. Them. Got it. Peer pressured into making money is like adulthood. <laughs> 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 They've paid to uh, read your books. I mean, that's, that's different. You're getting a physical thing um, and stuff that isn't like on the site. I don't know. I can, I understand like buying the actual things. I'm not asking people to buy them really. The Jingyeon Mafia? The, uh, the Korean? Weren't they also in six? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's how we first saw them. The Persona dancing game has Yakuza character costumes. So basically if you like Zero at any level, Yakuza Zero, you'll, like, you'll love Ishin. Yeah, 
Um, Ishin is definitely my favorite Yakuza game. That's they're, they're, it. They're right on. They're right tied about tied for me right now. Um, but Yakuza Zero's story is much much better, but uh, Ishin is just too much fun. Well, here comes one there. All right, so now we are in the Leet River area. Where's one here? She's coming out of the the, tent? the cave. So Poe has been uh, Poe and Tony have been working on some new merch things. I don't even remember what any of it is. <laughs> I was gonna make a Patreon post uh, this morning about it, but Zuli kept bugging me, and I didn't yeah. get any work done. When I work on the book. I need you to always like keep them away. Okay, so that red bird formation. Yeah. That was pack four, and the stray cat is in pack seven. Okay, thank you. I don't think. Like, well, hmm? Besides cat scratch, I'm looking for something else, right? A 10 second Mado drawing could be a good Patreon reward. We considered that. So well, that's more of like a Pomito CX thing. It's not <laughs> like you're going to learn anything. Oh, we didn't save state. Save state after this fight, Amethyst? We did a save state just now. So, Cyril Palazzo says, I hope there's a translation patch for Ishin and Kenzan someday. Yeah. No fan is going to fan translate this. It is too much. No, it's definitely going to happen. Way too much. It's definitely going to happen. And they use old-timey samurai language. It doesn't matter. There is going to happen anyway. If someone like me wants to do it, there's going to be many more people out there. Maybe no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those that eventually gets one, like by the super dedicated fans. It has that kind of fan base behind it. Uh oh. Did you get it? Yeah, Where's he Gal? To, he has to come back. That's weird. I mean, he has to go live with them for a while. What do you think he does? Does is that how it works? Does he go live with those creatures for a while, or does he like suck their brains out? <laughs> Although, we, uh, you and I both have like a bunch of the Atlas Sega Yakuza team following us oh, yeah. on Twitter. If we talk about Ishin enough, do you think they'll be like, hey... I think I think it's a Mother 3 situation where <laughs> like they know they really want to release it, but it's just like uh, the content, like the story and the characters. It's good! Yeah, like no one knows about all this history stuff. It is a lot of strange oh, history. wonder and her scratches. She's got some itches. Like, you need to know a lot of stuff. Like, they talk about the black ships and the Bakufu. Tosa dialect. Tosa oh, dialect. here we go. Ow! When? I'm Gao. I'm your friend. Let's travel together. Oh, she's gonna come over here and lay down. Okay. So what's the other one that we wanted to get? Oops. Mm. Is Wander using cat scratch? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, stray cat. Okay, let me see. I wonder why I have it say unarmed there. BBQ at me which one we should get, cause um, my real cat distracted me. What? What? BBQ? Like BBQ to oh. get my attention. If you want her attention, you gotta barbecue her. Yep. And I don't remember which other one that we're trying to get. Someone, people were mentioning another one that's real good. All right, Stray Cat, let's see what you can do. Honestly, Amethyst Frost leaves Gal to rot. <laughs> yeah, people are really saying that this cat scratch is really good, though. Oh, here we go. Mog's Dance? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to get Mog's Dance uh, next. She just needs to go up and sleep and forget about it for a while. Yeah. It's like when you're sick, just sleep so you forget about it. Maybe she was bit when she was doing that thing. Oh, well, that was that was one of the ideas we had. Yeah, because she was just doing it just now. All right, well, since I don't know which other one we want to get, I got to get back to my home. Wendy. Got a kitty that's not feeling too great. 
Whoa, look at that monster. You can catch a fish like that eel thing in Yakuza. Yeah. I seem to recall it. That's pretty good. I'll let him come back and see what we get. Oh, she's smiling and sleepy. Good. You better baby Wendy. What a trooper. She got nipped by a scorpion, and now she got bit by god knows what because she's itching a lot. Poor baby. I'm gonna vacuum the house real good after this. Put down a bunch of bug killer. What's um Gal raging? What's he doing? Um, well, I seem to remember just from my own experience that when he did those ones, it's a good thunder, a thunder spell. Okay. Man, I kind of want to see just like how this looks in real life. Like if on the belt, there's all these crazy creatures just running around the field. Okay, um, Itinerous Order says Aspics and Anguiforms and Marshals are the ones you kind of want. Okay, so that's good, because I got one of them. Everything up, you straight up skip. Everything else you skip. Danny McGee says, I think scorpions are about the only thing I would hate more than roaches. That is the truth for me. I cannot stand roaches, but I will take a roach over a scorpion. Ugh. Because scorpions can hurt you. Roaches are just gross. Oh, you can get multiple at once? I didn't know that. So, oh, you're reading? No, it's okay. Um, Taishi says, um, remember to get the dance from the, the serpent trench. Yep, I'm about to do that. This, the floating continent. Yeah. That was another big thing. That's kind of like the biggest reason we're doing this stream. Although I don't even know if I'm going to use it. Is it... Is it good to have? I'm just getting it because you can't get it in time after. I want it because I like Mog. I like cute things and I want to see him dance. I drew a Mog, a Moogle. It looked like, it looked terrible. So we called it a Moggle? We called it a Moggle. I'll post that on. <laughs> oh yeah, and so for posts on Patreon, um, actually the dev blog is going to be shutting down. Well, it's going to just stay there, frozen. Frozen, but everything new will be posted on Patreon, and there will be... There'll be a lot of free stuff. Like, free, non-Patreon uh, posts, also. The old dev blog posts. You crazy? Scorpions don't run fast? No. Really? I've seen them run. Oh, uh, I've not seen them run. <laughs> Um, I haven't seen maybe, one. Maybe certain ones. Maybe I've just only seen them close to death. And so they've been slow. Alright. I'm gonna rage you. Wait, maybe they're... Strong. Though. I think it is like, bolt three on that one. So I think it truly was a waste, those 30 minutes we did yeah. in the Velt that one time. Yeah. Oh, the sisters are together. Mm, Wander and Zuli are licking each other. Master the new dance. Well, we can leave now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what is it? Is it like keep going right? Or is it left? One of those two. They're doing their cute little fighty fights. I wonder who's biting Julie's toenails. <laughs> <laughs> that jellyfish always reminds me of Evo, that RPG, not the fighting game tournament. <laughs> but that's that's definitely a game I want to do this with. Um, look at the translation. That's one that got you know like a lot of the NOA. Censorship Since and about, I think a bunch of just translation issues. I want to do it because I never finished it. Really? Yeah, never finished it. I remember I bought it for a bunch of money and then we played it and then I guess we didn't finish it. Mm -mm. Okay. When we needed to move, we ended up selling that one yeah. because it was worth a lot and we needed moving money. I named all of my animals the first time after like my science teacher and my English teacher. And they were just like the weirdest names. So somewhere out there, there's a cartridge with like 
all these weird Mr. Mr. Wilsons. And <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh, they fighting. I'm just having a bad day. Yeah. I don't think Zuli's wants her here. Okay. Come on. Numb spines. I didn't get to see what that was. Did you guys hear that? You guys hear that hiss? <laughs> and I said earlier that it was rare to hear hissing mm -hmm. in the house. Well, it is. <laughs> All this for a dance. I thought you got the dance. Yeah, but I have to go. Oh, and I have to get out. Yeah. You only need to find marshals when you get back to the Velt, since I saw you got angui forms and aspects already. Yeah, I have to go all the way back. Like, it's annoying to get back. Oh, Zuli looks... Do you think she might be having those feelings? What feelings? No. Non-recognition? No. But she is acting real strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if that happens, we'll just have to close the stream, stop yeah. the stream. If the crisis happens again. The cat crisis. It's happened like... Three twice, times. Three times this year. Where Zuli just completely doesn't trust Wander, and we have to keep them separated for a while. And if that's happening right now, that's gonna be bad. Now Wonk says, from this point, you can get a chocobo and ride back to the waterfall. Yeah. If she hisses again, that's a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Go check on her. Come on. All right, now we're gonna go get a chocobo. Yeah, for some reason I thought like maybe I like I walked all the way one time, not realizing I could take a chocobo. All the way through, like, and I thought you had to go through the Phantom Forest. Do you think it's because water didn't scratch mm -hmm. on it? Mm. Probably smells different, or seems different. She didn't scratch her neck, and Zully yeah. doesn't like it when Wander's neck is weird. I didn't know you could do that, just like go right through. <laughs> I don't even know if you can go back in now that I think about it. For whatever reason, this whole part, like taking the chocobo all the way here, reminds me the most of FF4 and kind of everything in this game. It just feels it has this like very strong FF4 vibe. I wonder what that island is. Hmm. Let's go there. So people are saying to get Marauder. Uh, I forgot. Yes? I'm probably not going to go out of my way for it, but... Look at that thing! Yeah, I was reading the Japanese guide about it, and it was... It was weird. It, it's like a... Uh, chimera of a car and a guy who really wants to be a car or something <laughs> like that. But they have cars? Mm -hmm. I mean, they got flying machines That's pretty soon. That's different. I forget what marauders actually are. 
Feline kick. That's what that one's called. Yeah, it's called cat kick, not cat scratch. Oh. Kitty kick. <laughs> Somewhere around here. I wish there was like a thing that told you where it was. Or wait. Okay, it'll be down here. Uh, let's try this one. I think this one was like bolt two to everyone. Nope, it's Aqua Breath. Oh, is, is she gonna learn that? Struggle gonna learn that? Or does it have to hit him? Oh, wait, he already has Aqua Rake, never mind. This Pipsqueak pack is number 16. So, which pack are we looking for? Because I'm about to leave unless, unless it's nearby. Is floating but blinded. Aspects and angle, angle forms are both in 11. Pack 11. Wait, but I have those. What are you looking for? I don't Marauder? know. Marauder, people are saying. But that's okay. Oh, Zoe. Um, oh, let's go check. Check that town. Where is it? Gonna check for some new text here. We're so close to getting to 60. You have the rages of aspects? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any new text? Uh, no new text so far. No one knows that the world is ending. Woof. There's Barb. Okay. Um, hello, lady. That looked like it might. Looked like we might have got a new line somewhere. Somewhere along the way there, we got something. Okay, now I want to go... How much money do we have? Go to the auction house? Oh, we probably have enough. I think there's two uh, magic sites we can get. We could also probably wait until the end of the world, but I figured I'd get it now. Wait until the end of the world. Mm -hmm. We go going in. Op auction house, not opera house. Mm -hmm. Lots of houses. Okay, bid on items. Oh, it's a whole scene. Yeah. It's a chest. Toss that angel, angel, like feather, angel, a uh, wing. The, uh, you can see that's why GBA says wings and the fan says feathers. <laughs> Oh. Um, but you can see probably like they weren't allowed to say angel, so they went with cherub, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that was one that was specifically given the okay in my anyways thing. Yeah, you got feather, plume, wing, blade, 
Oh, counter for helmets is honey. I didn't know that. <laughs> Never seen that. Let's, let's come from 500 gil. <laughs> I don't want it. Doesn't that want to make you float? I'll pass. <laughs> so it's, uh, you can tell this is a, a, a woman, like a mm. aristocrat woman, it's just the oh ho ho laugh. Oh, really? And then here's a, this goes I must in my y'all, is a uh, very aristocratic lady sounding thing. I, that's kind of neat. I never really knew that. Like, you could identify people, sort of. Yep, auto flow. Sold to this lucky person. Take it away, please. Oh, and looks like he's facing that woman. The lady next to me over there? Yeah, right there. Across the aisle. Oh, I guess not. Well, that's all for today. Come what? back again real soon. What a terrible auction house. Do they have any lines? Oh, we're over 60. Yay! Uh, I don't have it on. <laughs> what about the... You don't have the confetti? Hooray! Oh, yeah. Shaq Fu. Oh, I forgot to put... So J64 made some new animations, but I haven't. I forgot about adding them. So. Oh. Sorry about that, J64, but thanks for making them. What's this? There we go. <laughs> what, what else do I have in here? Got background music. Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> the uh, YouTube like automatically made one of those animations part of like the automatic thumbnail and I was like oh no people are gonna think this is like some sort of weird other video that is not uh, sense of science says I want that juicy shack <laughs> guess what it's in there I put that quote down there in that thumbnail I made it's extremely hard to see but it's there we're here for the espers I assume yeah okay Hello, Besk. Yeah, when I rendered the image or like compressed it, um, the text got almost unreadable, so. <laughs> but it's there. The secret text. All right. We got no. a lovely chest. No. Again. Do you have to leave town? I kind of said some cherub down. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you can get it at this point, though. We're gonna keep making this lady buy lots of these angel angel wings. Mm. So there's a trick that speedrunners for this game know where you can tell when they're going to offer the espers for sale based on which way the NPC you see outside is facing when you walk out. Oh crap, I remember I remember when we were doing tea dish and people were talking about that. So her? Uh, she's kind of facing all ways. That's crazy. Speedrunner's crazy. <laughs> no! <laughs> More cherub dome? A cure oh. ring. So this is an angel ring. So it's not a cure ring. Okay. It looks like they changed it for GBA even. It says angel ring. Yeah. Okay. They changed it from what the original Super NES one was. Temple no Jikuwa. <laughs> uh, I don't really care about that one. Calling it a cure ring is good though because you can tell immediately what it does. So does that mean if you wear like a whole bunch of angel stuff, do you get something special? 
You become an angel. And that's what that's what uh, Kefka does. He buys all the angel equipment, and by the end, he's an angel. No, oh, then she won again. Is it always her? No, I don't think so. All right, so she was facing right when that happened. Well, I think. No. Oh, you can control it. Two more times. I'm, in, I'm now in the gambling mind. mind. <laughs> it's the directions that she immediately walks when you go outside that changes it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see how it was last time, so. I think she was facing right. Yep, Magicite Hunt. Right? Okay, she's face no, she's facing left there. Whoops, left. That's what I meant. I got it mixed up. Okay, she faces left, we get Cherub down. It's, a, it's actually a sequence where you walk in and out several times looking for a specific pattern. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> this is getting too complicated. Oh no! I said I was gonna buy it. Okay. You can have it, lady. It might be worth dropping a save state, so if it's a bad item, you can just reload. Oh, that's a good idea. My save state before we leave the door. Okay. She licked her lips and then looked at me. That's not a good sign. She's hungry. <laughs> back out. Right? I wonder how people figured that out. Well, that, that what? Is this is astounding. The real talking chocobo. It talks? Talkabo? <laughs> it's a real thorny, talkative chocobo. It says so. It's a. Uh, it's like looks just, just like one, just like a real one. So I'm guessing it's you know it's a fake. So you got lifelike. Uh, fan translation says a real live, but it's not. It says it's almost just like one. It says it's almost. It's almost just like one, so it's kind of like two steps away, you know? Mm. You could say it's like one, but now, it's, now you're saying it's kind of almost like one. Okay, you can't win this. Yeah. You can in T edition, and then it gets added into your airship or something. Papa, I want that, please. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't. Now pipe down. Oh, they kept that in GBA. Oh, fan translation gets it wrong. Whoa! So he's saying, like, hold on now. Show some, like, uh... What is that called? What do we call it? Patience? Mm-hmm. It has so many, so many definitions. It's, I always have trouble. Hey, hey, please do a little gammon. Gammon. Pipe down. I want it. I want it. Buy it, pretty please. So that's one where the Super NES got it right and the fan translation got it wrong. Okay. Um, I want it. Buy it, pretty please. He's like, but I really want it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Come on, Daddy, buy it. Is he gonna bid like? Well, how about that? Ten million dollars. <laughs> Is it possible to get that much in this game? No. Uh huh. Yeah, so 
this is a good one. So the, the five here is the in Japanese it's go. That's how you say five is go. Oh. And so he's about he's he's you know he's like he stutters, saying go 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 one. Um, and so that's why there's a just sound here or go. I mean. And, and so here in the Super NES version, he didn't understand that. He thought it was like a like a gulp, maybe. Uh -huh. But um, I don't know. Like the GBA does it like the best I can think of. Unless you put an F there, like unless you spell it out with like five. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Sold to this lucky person. Take it away, please. Yahoo! Uh oh. <laughs> oh, but it's not in all caps. Oh. There's a good one. Thanks, Papa. Yahoo! I just realized we say that. We say Yahoo and then Yahoo! Mm hmm. The. the and you can tell the difference between the two just from the accent. Mario does. Yeah. That's Mario. That's interesting. I never never even thought that those were two different words that way. Well, we have our treat for the day. Let's go home. Oh my god. We got we got some tips. Okay. To, uh, from Barb's Vans. To get an Esper to appear in the auction house, enter and exit the auction house rapidly. Watch the female NPC outside who wanders randomly and keep track of which direction she takes for her first step. When you see her go up, up, right, left, oh. <laughs> immediately re-enter the auction house again and speak to the NPC who triggers the auction. And that's, zone section. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Taiji says, I have sympathy for the fan translator in the situation of, I don't quite know what this says, but I already know what the situation or outcome of the scene is, so such and such makes sense. Yeah, so you just kind of like fit, stick something in to fit. Mm -hmm. So I'll watch the girl if you go in and out a lot. I don't, I don't want to. Let me No, because that's like, you got four, one out of four, one out of four, one out of four, so like the chances of it happening are pretty low. And safety. Nope. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Nonsense. <laughs> and it's a chest. You can try it up. No, I'm just. Ah. She's still staring out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the actual odds for a zona seeker to appear are higher than the odds of her taking that path yeah that's why i wasn't wanting to do that because that is a really low okay percentage I might follow her okay make sure nothing bad happens oh here we go yay the magicite golem Calls it the mana stone. Who will give me 1,000 GP? 5,000. How about it? Oh crap, is it really that expensive? I can only get one thing, I think. Oh no. Crap, that's a lot. Okay. Sold to this lucky person. Yay! Alright, let's check it out. She's not yelling yet. Mm -hmm. Safe and stop. Hey, Shuby. Oh, she's a little spooked, I think. Okay. Let's keep an eye on her. So, I don't think we have enough money for her anymore. Did Unless we, we sell some stuff. Golem. Whoa. Is this my favorite Final Fantasy? 
I don't really... Do you have a favorite? I don't really have a favorite, but yeah, I like this one a lot. I heard she likes Crystal Chronicles a lot. No, that's just the first one I played with my own hands. Because my friend was super into Final Fantasy. And so I was like, okay. My favorite Final Fantasy is Breath of the Wild. That's the correct <laughs> answer, Sins of Science. So goggles don't do anything, right? Like, also in The Symptoms, they don't do anything. the next one will cost. I hope not too much. I'm like at a pawn shop right now. It's like it's like the place we're selling it to has infinite money. with that one. say good things about the heel rod. So I have 20,000 now. 76. 106. Eighty-eight. I don't really care about that one. Oh yeah, I forgot Yakuza Zero has a whole crafting system. Now that we're talking about random things. The Yakuza Ishin. Alright. Yeah, so for a long time, Final Fantasy IV was my favorite, but I think I burned myself out on it, doing all those projects with it, so right now this is like tied with it. There's a very, uh, there's a lot of love in this game, you can feel it. Now, I need to go back here, where am I going? Oh, we might be able to hit 61 today. I remember Parasite Eve. I think I beat it, but then isn't there like a bonus dungeon? And then I was just getting my butt kicked there. Let's go to the auction house now. And I hope I can get it for 20,000. Is it 20,000? <laughs> it's my favorite game period now. Uh, people have asked me that, and I don't, I don't know if I have a single favorite. It's hard for me to choose. Like, if... Uh, I can only have one game left and for the rest of my life it would probably be uh, Yakuza 0 <laughs> or maybe right now I'm really loving Assassin's Creed Origins ooh, ooh. Oh, we're having some bad times here no, 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 no. alright should we end stream yeah well let's end it when we get this okay we've got some fighting cats yeah we're having a cat crisis our dumb Zuli cat. Yeah. Wander's been having... I think she got bit by something. And she's been scratching a lot. And Zuli's like, What the heck? Who are you? Yeah. It gets really bad. Sometimes we have to like put up a gate and then... She has to live in a different room for a week. Yeah, so... You think we'll stream next week? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I don't want to buy this. I'm distracted by my cats. We won't get to do Ishin. I know. We would like to, but if this is gonna happen. Yeah. Okay. We have to just keep trying to get this one now. 
What's game period? Game period? Like, favorite game period? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, what's your favorite game ever? Oh, uh, game period. Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't have one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> We gotta all like will it with our brains. Everyone think of Zone Seeker. I'm not even sure what that name comes from. This is like Zona Seek or something in Japanese. I assume it's from mythology. It's okay, Zuli. This lady. Mm hmm. She keeps buying the same stuff. You know what? I think she's a plant and she works here. Except <laughs> she's really bad at her job. If I buy one of these cherub things, will it go away? Oh, you know what? I should be doing save states. Oh yeah, you can go ahead and hit it now. No, because I did say I, I already, we already got that one. Oh, okay. We went to a concert one time, and they brought a bunch of girls up on stage at one point. Oh, yeah. And we're so sure the one girl that he talked to absolutely. the most was a plant. She was dancing all, like, professional-like. She and was she in her 20s. Had real tight clothes on. And she was not Make a state. short Make and a state fat. State. Oh. No, it's okay. She's not short and fat and 50. Yeah, because there were a lot of olds at that concert. It was more stay in the time. <laughs> Hello, Kasumi Blue. Hello. Good to see you again. Oh, it's a chocobo. Blah, 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 blah. If we open it, you're gonna hiss. And anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about is like, what? <laughs> no, no chocobo, no chocobo, please. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not. <laughs> that's also not what I want. Uh, the concert was Morris Day and the Time. Uh, you might remember them from Purple Rain or Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Even that's old. <laughs> <laughs> In my day, we didn't have no save states. Uh, Taishi says, I'm curious about the main dialogue tracker. What does it count in the world of Ruin, since you can go to Kefka's tower right after getting the airship? It counts like, so there's 3,084 lines of text in the game, and it just counts which ones have been displayed. So it's not like a progress meter, it's more just like out of all the existing lines. Yeah, Compassion Avoid knows Jungle Love. Oh wee, oh wee, oh wee. <laughs> this is old. They saved that song until the very end of the yeah. concert. It's like, where is it? They haven't sang Jungle Love yet. They're not done. I know they're coming back All out. All I and know is that I like there's a guy named Jelly Bean. <laughs> On drums, I think. I'm basically pressing up and A for Pokemon right now. Fashion Voices, Paul and Mador are showing their age here. Um, I was too young to like Morris Day when I first started liking Morris Day. <laughs> I'm not really a fan, but I like funk. Yeah. So I think this is going to make the chocobo happen, if I am correct. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, when I went to my first Prince concert in 2002, I was surrounded by olds, and I was like 17. <laughs> yeah, you could have gone up on stage. Oh uh, no, no, that was one night. <laughs> that was during one night alone when he was very spiritual and wearing suits, you know. Well, actually, he wore suits pretty much for the rest of his life. But it was, the stage was closed. Darn off. you. So has anyone ever been to a real auction like this? Hmm. I've never been to one. No, I haven't either. Just to silent auctions, Taishi says. Oh, yeah. She wants out. Should I let her? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Compassionate Void went to a police auction. It was interesting. Yeah, I hear you can get so many good cheap things that way. Oh, you... This game knows. Sorry guys, there's not going to be a Zelda stream because our cat doesn't recognize our other cat all of a sudden. I bet you could, could have heard the hissing on the stream because it was pretty crazy. There's really uh It's available right now, right? The Zone Seeker? Oh, someone asked, um, would your chances be higher... Um, would the odds of the Magicite be higher in the world of Ruin? Yeah. It would, they would be? Yeah, I just, you know, before we get there, it'd be nice. There's this chocobo. <laughs> when does it get set? Like, is it set when I... Zone Seeker is available only at 12.5%. And the offerings change in the world of ruin. So what if we already got one magicite? Oops. It's set when you enter the room. Okay. How can I reset the random? How can I reset the RNG? Backfire later. Oh wait. Yeah, here we go. Yay! Whoa! Zone seek. So it's like Zona Seeker, but I don't I assume it's some sort of mythology. I was zoning out. It's called Zone Seeker here. Zona Seeker. Zona Seeker. Oh, please, just let me afford it. The instinct to push down. Hmm. Oh, pretty cheap. Yay! That was a 6.25% chance it would show up. Oh. Oh, I'm glad we got it. Alright. Okay, zone seek. Oh, rasp and osmos. Pretty good there. save yeah let me go out and save it and then oh when you get golem it doubles the chance okay so 12.5 okay so um we're stopping early because our cats are having some issues and we might need to rehabilitate them again yeah um it happened as we were streaming so who knows, there's a chance we might stream later, sometime this weekend, yeah. but it's unlikely, but who knows, maybe we'll be like, let's stream Yakuza Ishii. Yeah, it takes a couple of days for the cats to get over this, but... Eh, there's only one cat that needs to get over it. It's Zuli that needs to get over it. So, we're sorry we're ending, but we're having cat crisis. But thanks everyone for coming. Um, um, it was like a chill stream anyway. Yeah, it was a nice chill stream. Um, thanks for coming by, and let's hope that these Patreon credit work. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Do, Good, do, do. Goodbye.